In this video, I'll show you how to display your out of stock products in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com and go ahead and download and install the WooCommerce product table plugin. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, so here we are in our demo site and I'm gonna create something similar to this. So I'm gonna display our current inventory and then below it, I'm gonna display our previously sold inventory, basically our out of stock products, right? So let's navigate to our dashboard. Okay, so the second step is assuming you've downloaded and installed the WooCommerce product table by WooSuite. Go ahead and install it by navigating to plugins, add new, install and activate it. Once you've done so, you'll see this WooSuite menu here. Click on add-ons and go ahead and install this product table plugin here. Since I've already done it, let's go ahead and click on this plugin. Okay, so the third step is to go ahead and click add new table to create our new table to display our in stock products and then we'll create another one to display our out of stock products. So I've already created one here, so I'm gonna go ahead and edit this table. So I've named this one current inventory, so I'm gonna click edit. Okay, so in your case, you'll give your table a name. Okay, so where it says a quick order form page here, we're gonna leave this blank. This is if you wanna automatically insert this table into a particular page. So we'll navigate to form information. So by default, this product table will allow you to create a product table. So it will display your tables in a grid format. However, in my example, as you can see, this is more of a list format. And how I achieve that is you just basically drag and drop different columns onto the page. So I added a image block here, which you can see here. You can rename it as well. Okay, I'm gonna X this off. And then I added a inner column block. So this is our nested columns. And then from here, when we click on the pencil icon, we can add various information. So we can add the SKU code. And then if we wanna add multiple, we just separate it by a comma, so SKU code. And then we can go ahead and add the name for the product name. Okay, we can add the short description. So I'm just copying and pasting these options here. Okay, and then you just go ahead and click update. Once it's saved, you can just click off the page and then that's it. Again, since I've already added mine here, which you can see, I've added the name, so the product name, SKU code, short description, the price, and also add to cart button. Okay, so let's X this one off. Okay, and then for the image size, I've set my image size to 250 pixel width and 250 pixel height as well. Okay, all these other options, I'm gonna leave it blank for now. And then I'm gonna scroll to where it says form information. Okay, so this is a crucial bit. So where it says a product condition, we we'll go ahead and select add rule. Okay, and then here we will select stock status and then we'll select the stock status as well. So for this product table, we're gonna only show products which are currently in stock. So I've already added this rule here. So there's no need to add it twice. So I'm gonna delete this one in a sec, but you can create conditional rules such as show products which are in stock and also within a set category. So here I've selected category. And then here I can select a particular category for it to display the products from. So our rule will say show products which are in stock and uh, within this particular category. So I'm gonna delete it because I only wanna show, um, I wanna show all my products which are currently in stock. Okay, and then for the product filters here, so we can set this to disable or we can choose it based on the product columns. In this case, I've selected a custom. And then when you click on this option here, you can see a list of all the different um, filters you can add. For example, I've added a filtering option by category by tags, by attributes. So for example, if we added a variable product, it will show all those different attributes. And then we've also added a on sale filter as well. Okay, so we'll just skip through everything for now. And then for form design, the only thing I've done in my case is I've disabled the table heading. Okay, then you just go ahead and click save changes. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and navigate back to our general settings page. And then to save us time, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this product table in which I've just created. So we just click duplicate here. Okay, and here's our duplicated product table. So I'm gonna edit this one. And the only, diff the only thing I'm gonna change here is I'm gonna change the title. Um, I'm gonna change this to um, sold inventory. All right, because we're using this product table to show us um, sold out um, products, okay. And then we'll navigate down to um, form controls. 
And in here, instead of setting this to in stock, I'm going to set this to out of stock. Okay, and then I'm going to hit save changes. Now the fourth and final step is to actually create the page in which we want to add these product tables. So we navigate to pages and then we just click add new. Again, since I've already created a page, I'm just going to go ahead and edit this page in which I've created. Okay, so you just give name your page. So you can name the shop if you wanted, if you wanted to use this as your shop page. I've just added a heading here, which says current inventory. And then we we'll just go ahead and paste. So if I navigate back to the general settings, we'll just copy and paste um, our product table shortcode. So for the current inventory, I'm going to copy this shortcode here. And then we we'll just paste it in here, just like that. And then I'm going to add a new heading. And I'm going to name this one previously sold. And then I'm going to copy the short code for our previously sold products. So I just click on this copy icon and then we just paste it here. And now we can just go ahead and update this page. And now our page should display our in stock products and our out of stock products separately as well. So it's just a more user friendly experience. So here we can see the current inventory in which we've got. And then here we can see the previously sold inventory in which we've got. Okay, so for this product table, I think it would probably make sense. So here it's showing a read more button because it's out of stock, but it probably makes sense to just um, remove this button. So I'm going to head back over to our product tables here. And then for this sold inventory product table, I'm going to click edit. And then for our form information, I'm going to edit this inner column section and I'm going to remove the add to cart button. Okay. And just to make sure, just, just so we know that this actually is out of stock before our short description, I'm going to add the stock display here. Okay. So let's update this and then let's hit save changes. Okay. So that saves successfully. So now let's refresh this page and let's see. Okay. Perfect. So I've added a stock status. So you can see that it's displaying all the products in this section which are currently out of stock, right? So this is perfect if, for example, if you sell one-off pieces and you want to show customers what you've previously done. So this is an excellent way to showcase all the products which you're currently selling. And then you can just quickly display your previously sold products as well. And that's how you display sold out products in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.